Good morning, happy Tuesday. So I wanted to focus on fasting. I've had a lot of people ask me questions um, and contact me. Sorry, I have a low, low battery, of course. Um, and ask and, and contact me and tell me about how much weight they're losing because of adding fasting into their day and into their week. So I thought it'd be a great idea to just come on and kind of talk about why I fast, how easy it is to fast, and why you should probably try, try it. Um, fasting has been done for centuries, right? And if you don't like the word fasting because it sounds like <gasps> I'm not gonna eat, you can call it time eating or you know a, a eating window um, really all it is is just having a better structure to the way when you eat and what happens is if you eat in a better routine where you you leave your body to just rest for 16 hours or 18 hours then you're using the fat on your body for energy and you lean up in a different way. So when I work and teach with my, my clients and friends, it's one of those things where intermittent fasting is a piece, right? If you are eating cleaner and you're eating better food, maybe more organic, less non-GMO or less GMOs, um, if you are eating less processed food or sugar or wheat, you are cleaning, right? Or reading ingredients, you're eating cleaner or you're eating clean. Um, so that helps you because you're putting better stuff in your body as you are learning how to fast or adding fast to your week or day or whatever. So I wanted to um, just review two fasts, general fasts, maybe three, that um, I use and teach and share and think that are the easiest to use. And if you just kind of put it in your head in a different kind of mindset, this timed eating will get you into a better rhythm and your body will heal, lean up, and um, even blood work comes back different right um, so it's the whole everything it's all the pieces put together so um, two types of fasting one based on hours 16 8 18 6 24 24 you know in one meal a day all that is based on timing right and then there's another one called 5 2 which is based on calories uh, and it, it, they're great because they you can use them differently um, the 5-2 is great for the athlete who is just needs to make sure that they're eating enough but they want to add fasting because it leans you up in a different way and when I started to fast that's the way I I learned I never really even looked into it enough to see about 16-8 or 18-6. 5-2 was about, for a woman, it's 500 calories. For a guy, it's 600 calories. And you stay within that for the day. But you do it only two days a week and five days a week. You eat clean. You eat well, right? You eat the right things or you try to eat better. And um, so when I did that, and I worked out Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, I lost three pounds at the end of the week and it, and it shed it off me that way. Um, putting the combination of eating cleaner food, food for energy, right? We are what we eat. And, um, and fasting, put those pieces together. So 5-2 was one method and I do suggest that to some majority of people that I know and even for myself now um, when I was introduced to 16 8 18 6 24 24 um, 
I realized, oh, this is even easier in some ways. Now that I was kind of at my goal, you could stay within that 16 hour, a few days a week and still fast and maintain your weight. Um, and when you bumped up to 18, six, right? So, okay, so let me back it up. Have you ever woke up in the morning, forgot to eat breakfast, just kind of went on your way, and then somewhere about 12, one, one, you were like, oh, did I eat? Well, you just did this timed eating, and you probably were on or about that 16, 8, and 18, 6 space, right? The idea of when you go to sleep, you know, you say, okay, well, this is before I sleep, or I'm done with dinner, this is my last meal that I'm going to have. 16 hours takes you to that noon time usually somewhere around there and we skip out on that breakfast we allow our body to go into ketosis for 16 hours or 18 hours or 20 hours or 24 hours and um only recently have i done the 24 hour fast and i added it once a week because i didn't see the need to do it super often but after researching and reading and listening to um, how it could help with chronic pain, I wanted to just throw everything at my shoulder and neck. And when I did it, I noticed the next day that things were a little better. So I am trying to stay into a rhythm of doing that. Um, some people might think that's extreme. I have to say I'm so kind of used to that 16 8 that after 18 hours that the first few day or two it was like kept looking at the clock because your body is just trained right if you eat first thing in the morning you've trained your body that way but if you tell your body your, your mind and your body I'm gonna hold off a few hours well now you're gonna train it a different way and that's what fasting really is and when you hit that window when you go into ketosis the fat the extra fat on your body, right? Depending where you're at, you could be, you know, have a, a larger amount of weight to lose. You could have a few pounds to lose, but it will use the fat on the on your body to lean up. So it leans you up in a different kind of way. Um, and so those are the two different types of fasts that I suggest to others. Here are some tips prepare yourself right cut up your favorite veggies you know get yourself set up to be able to grab something when you're done fasting that's like a good choice um, and that you like I I am bring out my little board um, smoothies right I'm always talking about it I never have a smoothie from a powder because I don't even that's not food. Um, and for me, I guess I could go over this. Um, it's banana, organic banana, uh, cacao, which is the chocolate without the sugar put into it, um, peanut butter, organic peanut butter. You can put coconut cream, um, or I've been putting water in it and totally good. So having your favorite you know food choices when you're done fasting is a great idea because then it's easier than, than like you're, you're prepped you're ready so you're not grabbing something that isn't really the best thing to break your fast proteins in my opinion um totally you know i i always am throwing peanut butter or a handful of trail mix um one more of my favorites is sweet potato mash. And it, I make it super easy. I throw a bunch of potatoes, sweet potatoes, in um, the oven in tin foil. And I put it into my fridge. And when I'm ready to use it, I put it in a pan, put my blueberries, my fruit in it, my nuts in it, a little bit of maple syrup maybe. And I have, that's sometimes how I break my fast. Um, having, if you're traveling around, have something in the car ready for you, you know, um, so that you're not pulling over and, and now breaking your fast with, again, something that maybe you wouldn't, right? Just being a little bit more pre prepared. 
and also setting a goal like you know many times people say to me well I want to start over and do better this week well how you know I always come back like well what what are you going to do to do that right what are some things that you need to do well I need to have if I want to drink more water in the morning I have to have that glass on my night table ready to go so that when I roll over I grab it and you know prepare yourself for it um, preparing yourself for the fast makes it easier maybe it's a day that you it's a quiet day right or it's a day that you just want to not even think about it and be super crazy busy um, and it's it doesn't get done in a week right because if you're looking to lose weight, it didn't come on in a week. And so many people are ready for it to be off when they want it off, but it creeped on and took some time. And, you know, for me, when I woke up and kind of, you know, was like, um, how to get here, you know, and it's been years for me to figure out how to be better me. So, um, these are some ideas for you if you are looking to fast. Like I said, I have people who are like, oh, I just lost 30 pounds just from fasting. Now can you help me with eating cleaner and plant-based or whatever? And, oh, you know, I, I just lost, you know, another person who lost more weight and wants to work out now with me a bit. So it's, it's fasting is totally yours to do. And we, we don't need to buy it somewhere. We don't need to, um, you know, purchase it or whatever. It's ours to make that choice. I'm going to hold off to lunch. And then I'm going to eat in a six-hour window or an eight-hour window. I'm just going to see how I do. And then at the end of the week, people lose weight. And they're like, it works. So um, I hope that you have a great Tuesday. Think about fasting. If you are fasting post it you know um i may even just kind of throw the question out there because i always kind of put it out there and then when i'm hearing people get back to me it's like well how many more people are doing it and what's the success for everyone too i see it in other groups because i'm in other groups and I, I you know you can see people often don't even have to work out for a while as you are trying to lose and get more mobility right it's a great place to start because you're in control of it. It's all about time. Um, so, again, have a great Tuesday. I will be on tomorrow. Enjoy.